Hmm, what's up? Um, I just built this rail today. I think it's pretty sweet. Um, I welded it together myself. Not the best welds. Uh, my friend Chris helped too. Um, we were skating a little bit today in, in the shop, but it was shitty outside. This is my new, my new deck. I got it really cheap, so I don't know. We'll see how it does. It's it's actually a lot lighter than I expected it to be. I expected it to be a, a heavy piece of shit, but it it seems really solid too. It pops like a beast. I got it for sixty five bucks for the complete. So we'll see. But this is my old my old deck. And I had a set of Tensor Lows on there, but they were like, from like 2006, and they were like, the axle was like, like, like a U, pretty much. The, it, like 50 millimeter wheels would, the axle almost touch the ground in the middle. So, yeah, I loved them too, I love those Tensor Lows. And they were even lower because of that, it was just such a sweet board, but I put longboard trucks on it. <laughs> My longboard is uh, retired. This thing has seen better days. I got this, and these trucks came on it. I got this board when I was 15, back in 2005. And yeah. So, this is my new longboard setup. What I did, I moved the front truck forward. You can see that. Yeah. I just moved it forward one space, drilled two new holes, made a fucking little wedge there, which probably isn't necessary. You can probably just like bolt it through, but I made it anyway because I think it would make it stronger. Need new wheels um, and bushings for this, and it'd be ideal. Um, it's awesome. It's actually really fun to have a setup like that to skate around. Um, but yeah, that's my, my rail, um, just a little guy, you can skate it in, in this bedroom, which is awesome, skate it in my workshop, which is even cooler, um, even, even with no wax, because of the finish on it, which I, it's scratching away already, but it just slides like butter, like it grinds, it kind of locks up, but it slides like tail, nose, board slides just butter this thing is <laughs> it's fucked but also one more random thing look what I made on my my little cousin this thing is actually ridiculously powerful if I had someone to to uh videotape. Let someone record it, I'd shoot an arrow. Just use like uh barbecue skewers. Um, the secret is that wire. That wire is this is the best design that we've come up with. Cause we used to have one that was like a straight piece and these flexible parts weren't replaceable and you'd break them and you'd have to take the whole thing apart which sucked. Now you can replace the uh, the arms easily put different weights on it, you know what I mean, different size ones on it. It's really nice. All you gotta do is untie the wire. And it's uh, ambidextrous. <sighs> I need to replace that piece. But yeah, you can just like put it there over there, and you can hold it this way or that way, but it's pretty nice, it's one of my coolest Kinex creations, obviously it was, uh, my cousin helped me, but I, I let him think that he helped me, but he's getting good, he's getting really good, he's building He's building this, which I didn't help him at all with that.
Look at that. Oh, there's no elastic there. But yeah, it's gonna shoot Lego blocks and be a repeater. So this is a magazine, and yeah, it's gonna shoot Lego blocks. It's pretty cool. That's uh, my random stuff for today.